Hi everybody, I am back with another six by six fun project set. So you guys really loved that last one and I did too because it was so easy and I realized we all like easy. There are so many newcomers that have come from that video. So welcome to my channel. Um, we all love easy things here. So that's our goal today. So today I was inspired by Camilla craft designs. I wrote down her name here in case it doesn't link right. Um, she had created these adorable little uh, six by six paper double pocket envelopes. Okay. So I found her tutorial and I thought it was just genius because there's no cutting involved. We're literally just sticking two six by six papers together to get rid of some of the scraps. And I actually took her idea and kind of ran with it, but I'm gonna show you her version and I'm gonna show you a couple of little updated ones that I did. So you can see, and yeah, this is so wonky, you guys. <laughs> My gold thread started uh, tangling up, so just pretend that you don't see that. And then um, I created some of these on my own using her idea and another back pocket. And then I thought this was also a great idea. And you'll see how this is all forming. This is just like a flat mail mini album. And again, I just kind of took her idea and just made a little bit extra with my own. So I'm gonna show you how to do all these fun things really quickly with our six by six leftover paper pads. So I am definitely trying to get rid of some of mine as well. All right, so let's start with her tutorial, okay? Let's start with the double pocket envelope, which again, it involves no cutting. It's just um, a really simple put together thing, as you can see. It's funny, because I saw that the envelope, but I didn't realize how she put it together until we put it together. So I'm going to use some of this really fun paper that I've been dying to use and have not had a chance to do it. So, okay, what we're going to do is grab your six by six paper. What you're gonna do is just grab two of them. So six by six, and you're gonna score it at two and a half inches, okay? So here's mine. This is actually preference, but she used two and a half and I love her score. I wouldn't change a thing. I think it's perfect. Um, and you go ahead and fold it. So that can be your top or bottom and then grab your other sheet and do it again at two and a half inches. Okay, and this is one we put together. Now this is fun because what you can do is you can stack it like this and have the pocket the shorter side and then this on the outside or if your images are wonky, you can take the big side and then have the one shorter on that side. So it's really just preference, but how easy is that? Why have I never thought of that? I don't know, but she's amazing and I love it. So I think I'm going to keep mine like this. And of course, at this point you can um, sew it, but I'm gonna glue it just because I'm on camera and you can thumb knot notch it or whatever. This would be a really big thumb. <laughs> and then you can just glue it on, whichever preference you do. Again, I'm gonna do mine like this, so. I'm going to just glue that here. I don't think I need the glue down there, but I just did it anyway. And then just pop it on there. And you're gonna go ahead and glue this up to create your envelope. Now, um, here, I guess I'll just do this one more time. I was just gonna say, so for the album, what I did, okay, so actually, let me just do another one just so you can see it. I mean, these are fun to make, so I don't mind doing another one. I'm just gonna glue that down, especially for the newbies, just to show them what I'm doing. And of course, these are great for newbies, these tutorials, but these are wonderful for people who have been doing crafts for years, like me, I mean. This is a wonderful idea to get rid of those six by six papers, especially if you do a lot of snail mail. So there we go. Okay, and you could even put a little brad here with some twine if you wanna make it really fancy. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again because now we're gonna do the album, but I wanna show you two ways you could do it. So let's again take a six, two six by six papers, score it the same. Um, actually, I'm gonna do mine this way because my album. So two and a half inches. And two and a half inches. Okay, so this is going to be the same thing if we were doing an envelope. Let's just pretend we're doing an envelope, okay? Except now we're turning it this way. Oops. Fix my papers here. That's still upside down. Sorry, I'm just fixing my design. There's nothing wrong with the measurements or anything. Okay, so if we were doing our envelope, we'd go like this, right? So now we're just gonna visualize it like an album sideways. So this is the option you have to make your pocket in here, or you can make your pocket on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my pocket right here. Cause I kind of like an inside pocket. And then you can glue that down. So you wanna leave this open if that's gonna be your pocket. Goodness, I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but my house is like blowing away. My son was supposed to do golf this morning and that's not happening. It's too windy out. They didn't even cancel it, that's the thing. But he's kind of like dribbly right now, so not a good idea. <laughs> Okay, and then you have this adorable little album here, but what I had done to make it a little extra was I took um, a little sheet of paper, and what did I measure this as? I think it's, let me see, I'm sorry, I forgot to measure this. I'm pretty sure it's three and a quarter by six. Let me see. Yes, it is three and a quarter. How big is this one? Too small. Okay, hold on, let me cut a sheet. Sorry, my cutting board was on the floor, so. Okay, so this is gonna be three and a quarter by six. Three and a quarter by six, okay. And I'm just gonna score it at like a half an inch right here. So it has just this little fold. And all I did was like glue it down there. So again, we're still using our six by six papers, but you know, now you're making a little page. And you could use vellum on this if you have some scrap vellum. I thought that was really pretty. Actually, I had cut one out. That's what I had done. So look, this is the vellum. It's the same. But, because we do have scrap vellum too, but I'm trying to use our paper pads, you know. But I want to show you how it would look if you use the vellum. But anyway, back to my other paper. And just pop that on. And it gives you this little extra page. And the best thing about it is it's still flat mail. So it's so fun how you can have all these elements, you know, with your paper pads and create something really new and different um, with just, you know, things you have laying around. So this is that. And I also wanted to show you that we do have our six by six. So we're thinking of more like big ideas, but of course we have these little scraps too here so take some of those type of, you know, papers you have laying around and, you know, cut them out and paste them on these edges so they don't look so plain, you know. So this set actually happened to have little tags, so I kind of just cut them out, but you could even put that there with a clip or glue it on. But it's so pretty 
and then of course you can decorate the front however you want. So that's the idea that I came up with out of that. And the last one is just the smaller version of this. So again, we have our six by six paper pads and we made these pretty envelopes, right? But maybe we want to stretch this. So now, okay, that's enough of that. I need to score <laughs> the cutting board here. And I get asked which, which one this is. This is the Stampin' Up! one. Because I was, was going to actually be a Stampin' Up! rep, and then I didn't do it. But, okay, so I'm going to just cut this. So it's three by six. So we're taking that three by six, I mean six by six, cutting it in half. And then again, we're just going to score it at two and a half. We're going to do them both. And this is going to give us like a, just a smaller one. So two and a half. And two and a half. And this is just going to give us that mini version that I had showed you. So if you have like junk journals or mini albums, this is a great way. And also you could just leave it like this and just stitch it and you have a little pocket. But if you want the extra pockets, you can certainly take it and just do that. So you have yours. So I had used the bigger circle punch for that, but for this one, I'm using a smaller one and I'm just gonna pop that there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this side too. And I'm going to glue it on. So you guys, we are trying to house hunt right now for our future home and goodness, we it's, it's a battle out there. Anyone who's house hunting right now knows how horrible it is. Um, we're gonna try and keep our current home and rent it out. So we're not homeless, um, but it's tough out there, you guys. I've been like, this is my rest period from, you know, all that. I'm like, I got to get in my craft room. I don't care what's going on. The, the, <laughs> everything's falling apart, but I'm going to get in my craft room today. Okay. And then... I just put something here because I like the way it looks. I kind of like that little tab. And then you have this one too. So again, I, I really love the stitching. So if you can stitch it, if you do have a sewing machine, look at just how beautiful it looks. I just love it. The back's a little funky, but maybe that's just the way I sew, you guys. I self-taught and all I've ever sewn is paper. I have ne well, I've tried a blanket and that was a disaster. So here is these fun you know, really quick little designs. I thought you guys would really like that. Oh, and by the way, for this big one, you can leave it like that. But again, I had taken my larger punch and I kind of like it like this. It just looks, I don't know. It just gives it a different look. And of course, do not forget the trick with the, um, the glitter tape so just to add a touch before I go I just want to show you how pretty it's gonna look on here I'm going to I mean this is already pretty gold because it has a lot of detail on it but let's just do one together since you guys really enjoyed the strip you know I figured this out on my own I just did it one day but uh I had heard someone else had done it like on my channel during that time so I guess it's a common thing but I had just saw all these cute little, um, I know, I know, I should have used my, there, here. This is gonna make you guys feel better <laughs> who tell me to use it. But um, I was just getting all these little, you know, pieces with these glitter borders and I hated to use them because they were so pretty. And I was like, well, you know what? I wanna try to make my own. And it just happened that way. So I'm gonna use a glitter that's a little bit more like rustic. This is from my, what was it? I did a, a review for them. 
but if I can find it, I will. But I really like it. It's a little bit chunkier. And before I go, I'll just do this with you guys. I'm going to do a fun little Saturday thing before I have to start cleaning my craft room. But look at how beautiful. Like seriously, you couldn't find a prettier envelope in a store, right? And you can just... Who doesn't want a beautiful, shabby envelope in the mail? I was trying to see. And then you can pop just quickly. I'm kind of doing like craft with me. But... I'm going to show you what it would look like with this little tag. And I am obsessed with this paper. I can't believe I'm just now touching this paper pad. I had convinced someone else to get this. And they were like, when are you going to use that paper pad? And I was like, I know. But here it is. So whoever had asked me that, I'm so happy I can finally use it. And, just, and this punch here cuts these perfect. But... If you want to add like a pretty little tag on there, you can do that. I usually tape it, but I'm just going to do this. So here you go, guys. I think you guys are going to love this. I was obsessed with this and I cannot wait to see your project. So make sure you tag me. All right, guys. Thank you.